I got another question for you. Sure, what's that? I need to record an interview with my client, but he's based overseas, so I had to record an Skype interview. How could I record it in best quality? Um, have you tried Filmora? I have, but I have to crop the video session out and zoom it in full size. The outcome is blurry, especially for the remote end. I see. So the main screen recorder can only record the desktop with Skype interface, and you need a special recorder that directly records the webcam from both sides when Skype call starts. So which recorder should I use? I'm going to show you that, and also I'm going to show you some tips to record Skype call in best quality. Sounds great. Go ahead. Yeah. Tip one: Environment setup. So first thing, lighting. To get an HD quality Skype call, you need enough light, especially on your face. Try not to sit against the light, or you'll get a dark face. Sit towards the light source, like the window, to utilize the natural light. Second thing, avoid noise. If you are doing the Skype call in office, you can put up a Do Not Disturb sign, and then make sure you have a stable connection to prevent stuck image, missing voice, or even a sudden hang up. Close all unnecessary programs because you don't want to hear a sudden notification sound with a pop-up window during the Skype interview. Tip two: Input devices. Video input. For better video quality, I would suggest to use an HD webcam instead of a built-in webcam, unless you use a Mac, which has powerful built-in webcam. For better audio quality, use a microphone, but not a headset. Because it might look unprofessional to have it on your head, and remember to test the volume before you get started. Tip three: Recording software. So the recommended Skype interview recorder I referred to was Ecamm Core Recorder. It's easy to use, able to record, edit, and share HD quality video from both ends. Although it's Mac only and costs about three dollars. So next. I'm going to show you how to record a Skype call with it. So after you install, open Skype, and Ecamm Call Recorder pops up right away. The first thing is to check settings. So audio encoding. Let's keep AAC compression. It will be a decent quality. And video quality, let's just set to high, of course. Video image size, which is resolution. So just to set the highest. Which is 720p, and video frame rate. Let's just set to maximum. Recording options. Now you want to pay attention to this part. So basically, you can choose the type of video outcome from local, remote only, 50/50 split, picture in picture, or my favorite, multi-track. So in this mode, it records two full-screen videos. One is your picture. And the other one is the person you interview, and then you can edit both videos in your editing software and like fully customize how you want to show the two videos. The next part, you can decide when this box shows. I prefer showing it at lunch, and keep an eye on the target folder in case you forget. Now, just make a step video call and click start button to begin recording. When you finish. Click this search icon and go to Movie Tools to apply some basic editing, like trim, adjust volume on both sides. And here, like I said, because you record two videos separately, you have the full control on how you want them to present. And if you choose the last option here, you end it up in two videos. And select export format. I would recommend MP4. Click export, and now get two videos separately in the folder. Afterwards, you can also edit clips in a more professional video editor like Final Cut or Filmora. For Windows user, it's recommended to use Pamela Core Recorder to record Skype interview, but it's just not as handy as Ecamm Core Recorder. All right, so Flora, do you find these tips useful? Absolutely. Thanks, Harry. Great. I hope you guys find this useful too, and stay tuned for more tips and tricks about video making.
Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. See you around. See you.